Hello beauties, welcome back to the vlog. This week we have been talking about strengths and weaknesses and leadership styles and so appreciate all the messages, the comments, the questions, really appreciate your interaction on that. Today I want to share something that happened with um, on one of my social media feeds and I want to talk to you about how I think leaders can react to this type of action. I do want to warn you that if um, you have sensitive ears that you may want to skip this vlog today um, because we are going, I am going to read something to you that's quite shocking and a bit on the obscene side. And that is that, you know, as someone who runs a company and who does things in the public eye, I have the opportunity to interact with lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds, not only in our community here and in the state of Oregon, but I've had the, the great honor of meeting people from all over the country and from all over the world. It's one of the wonderful benefits of living in a town that has a university in it, and we have a community college, we have some uh, diverse interactions that can happen here with a lot of different groups and I think that's that's a privilege to get that experience uh, and so as a result of that I see my role sometimes in leadership as someone who can bring those new perspectives into what I do uh, but I'm also someone who believes that being peaceful in our responses is important and as part of my role, I participate on different social media platforms, right? Just like I participate in community organizations. You might be wondering what this has to do with strengths and weaknesses, so bear with me, I'm getting there. But I participate on LinkedIn where I talk about leadership and we talk about hiring, we do that. Here on Facebook, some of my personal things are on here with my kiddos and my husband, but also the things we do in business and community and this vlog, right? We're on YouTube, we're in all these different places, and I also participate on Twitter. Twitter is a place where I mostly go to get behind the scenes stuff on news and sports because I love college sports and we're coming into my very favorite season which is college basketball and bracketology and I always have a great time with that. For many years I took both days off the first days of the tournament and now I don't have time for that anymore it's very sad but uh, you know so I really participate in these communities and I try to be um, a member of those communities that's respectful and uh, I try to lead by example because I was taught to um, reflect what I expect and that's that's a huge part of me and how I operate and this is gonna be a little bit of longer conversation today but I think it's important I've debated for several days now uh, whether or not I wanted to share this with you but I think that it's important for me and someone in a position like mine to address what has occurred because it's not acceptable. And if people like me and people like you and people that you know don't stand up for this type of behavior and the language that has been used here uh, that I'm going to share with you, um, then there are other people who may be afraid to stand up too. And um, so I'm going to share something that someone said to me on Twitter. Um, I tend not to post political uh, posts very much, um, although I do participate in our government. Uh, I post about our community, but I don't post a lot of opinions about that. Um, and I did have a post on Twitter recently where I said, we are all humans with a little heart emoji. And... Um, fairly benign post and I want to read to you what someone wrote in response to me uh, and then I want to talk with you about my thoughts on this. So someone who I don't know and I'm not going to tell you his name but I have not deleted this yet from Twitter because I think we need to address these types of posts and comments said this to me biggest stupid woman ever I hope you will meet lovely Hamas I'm sure they will rape you like everyone else Someone wrote that to me in a public forum on Twitter, a place where I am very respectful, where I posted of something very benign, that they are sure that I will be raped like everyone else. Now, normally when people say negative things in a social media platform, I don't respond. I mostly write it off, but I think it's important to address this, and here's why. 
because sometimes strength is standing up and saying no. It's not acceptable to treat each other this way. It's not acceptable to live in this space where we don't show respect, where we have lost our civility, where we have lost our way of talking with each other. Uh, and if that person saw me in person, if they were to say this to me, this is what I would say in return. I wouldn't get angry and I don't feel angry now. I don't feel afraid. I don't feel hurt, but I feel as sad. I feel sympathy for a person who would post such violent language, such language of intimidation to uh, elicit fear from someone that they don't know, that they would post language like that. I feel sympathy for a person, for what must his life be like, that he feels the need to use language like this toward women through the anonymy of the internet the autonomy of the internet. That is what I'm trying to understand. And what I say to you when I think of strengths and weaknesses is that as leaders, we have an obligation sometimes to speak up when things like this occur and to say, no, this is not acceptable and we will not stand for it. And this is not the world that we want to live in. Instead, we have an opportunity to speak language of peace, language of kindness, language of love, acceptance and tolerance and even though I am a small company in a small town in a small state it doesn't mean that my voice is small or that words such as these with such violence and such hatred can have any power over me and I want to share that with you because if you have experienced this or someone else has experienced this, there is strength in numbers. There is a different kind of strength in leadership where we can agree to stand together and that your voice has value, that you are worthy and important. And just like me, that we will not stand for that type of intimidation and behavior. And I know that's a heavy way to end the week, but I needed to share that with you because we are more than this we are stronger than these words. Next week, we're going to talk more about leadership, and I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Thank you all so much. See you next week.